At the end of World War I, Germany went in economic chaos. Inflation reduced many people to poverty, and food was expensive and short supply. Um, when Fritz Harman began selling meat on the black market for low prices, many people were eager to buy, but little did they know what kind of meat that they were buying. Mm. Fritz Harman, also known as the Butcher of Hanover, was thought to be responsible for more than 500 deaths. However, only 60 were accounted for. His specialty were young boys. Um, today I'm going to inform you of Fritz's early childhood, his victims, his partner in crime, and his incarceration. Fritz Harman was born in Hanover, Germany on October 25, 1879, and he was one of six children. He grew up estranged from his father and preferred to be hanging around his mother. Um, he liked to dress in girls' clothing, play with dolls, and stay far away from the other little boys. Um, his parents were an ill-arranged couple. There was a lot of family problems, and he grew up hating his father. Um, he started his life of crime early with stealing and pickpocketing. Um, at the age of 16, he was sent to military school, his father thinking that it would make him more of a man. Um, however, a year later, he was sent home for showing signs of epilepsy. The following year, he was charged with sexually molesting young children. His sexual development was progressing rapidly. Eventually, the pervert was deemed incurably deranged by the town doctor and was sent to an insane asylum um, after his 18th birthday. According to SerialKillerCalendar.com, this is where the young man suffered some trauma that would affect him for the rest of his life. So the life that he led as a young boy bring out the inner demon that he kept locked up for so long, and his killing shortly began. On May 17, 1924, children playing at the edge of a river found a human skull and uh, other remains, and on May 29th, another human skull. Um, the town was sent into a frenzy, and hundreds of people went looking around for human remains. According to CrimeLibrary.com, more than 500 um, parts of corpses were detected, were detected, proved later to be the remains of at least 22 people. After also searching Fritz apartment, Fritz's apartment, they found a severed head of a young boy stuffed behind the stove wrapped in newspaper, along with um, clothing, because he liked to collect the clothing of his victims. Um, the following nine months, 12 more young boys' lives were taken. Um, their victims, clo uh, the victim's clothing and meat was quickly sold throughout Hanover and was practically untraceable. It was estimated at this time he had murdered around 27 boys in less than 16 months, which is an average of two a month. Um, Fritz would pose as a police officer at a, the local railroad station where the boys would hang out. He would then lure them back to his apartment, um, sexually assault them. He would sexually assault his victims before biting through their throats to kill them. And he would strip them of their clothing and meat um, and dump their bodies in a local river. Um, even though he committed a majority of the crimes by himself, he, um, he got bored with it and felt he needed a partner in crime. So Hans Granz came around. Um, in September 1919, he met Hans Granz, a fellow homosexual, um, in prison. Together they formed a deadly alliance. Um, Granz was dominant in the relationship and would usually pick the victims. Um, Granz stated that he understood Fritz's uh, wick, wild, wild and sick urges. Mm -hmm. um, they would both participate in the killings. And according to Brian Ines, the author of the book Serial Killers, they sold the victim's flesh as meat, I'm sorry, they, they sold the victim's flesh and meat as beef or pork at low prices, and um, millions consumed this, this mystery meat. So although suspicion fell on Fritz and Hans, um, the authorities felt that for the local police to investigate wasn't Right, so they called in special forces. Um, they searched his apartment. They found the floors and walls to be widely bloodstained, which he later, um, I'm sorry, which he later explained was the result of his illegal trade as a butcher. 
clothing and personal items of the youngsters that have gone missing were also found. Um, he was taken into custody and confessed to at least 30 or 40 of the, of the murders, but couldn't exactly ha remember how many. Um, Fritz implicated Ron <coughs> as his accomplice and perpetrator for three of the murders. And on December 4th, 1924, Fritz stood trial. He was found guilty of 24 counts of murder. The trial lasted two weeks. And in court, he was, I'm sorry, according to TrueTV.com, he was remembered to be puffing on cigars and complaining that there were too many women and not enough little boys around. Um, Bronze was found also guilty and was sentenced to life, but then it later got down, uh, knocked down to 12 years. Um, Fritz stated, I want to be executed in the marketplace. On the tombstone must be, must be put this inscription. Here lies the mass murderer Harmon. The court denied. However, Fritz was beheaded April 15, 1925, a year later. Um, Fritz Harmon carried on killing innocent little boys for six years. From 1918 to 1924, he took the lives of over 40 people and counting. Although his appearance as the Hanover police stated far from evil, um, this man-eater entered the record books as Germany's most prolific killer. Wow.